you are here today is date 24 as i told you earlier today let us start our uh, note session before going to that i would like to tell you one thought that is all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them children you know that the hard work is essential in the sense there is no comparison for hard work because of that today as i told you earlier we will start our history first lesson that is the indian national movement the first phase then the lesson is the first war of independence 1857 we'll go through notes today let us start be careful open your textbooks come to the page number that is 22 the questions part children now we'll take up the first question that is what was the nature of revolts against the british before the first war of independence i think all of you got it again let me explain what was the nature of revolts against the british before the first war of independence then quickly come to the page number 9 answer is here that is first page of our first chapter come to the first para here you need to come for the bottom four five lines in the sense let me tell 1 2 3 4 5 from bottom fifth line you see the word these these you have to start that word with capital letter capital t you can start these rebellions were local from then on from there onwards till the end of the path, that is far in go there you can mark question answer number 1 that is first answer i think all of you got it or no all of you take it no yes next come to the second question same page number 22 why was the war of 1857 held as the first war of independence children first understand the question you come to the answer absolutely you will come to know the answer is what so the below para only just what you mark first answer just below only five lines answer is there that is starting with the culmination of such opposition i think all of you got it what is that the culmination of such opposition from then onwards till end of the path that is very foundation that is the second term all of you got it children that is the second answer you mark two there i think all of you mark it ah next quickly come to the third question that is mention two political causes of the first war of independence they are asking two political causes what are those let me have a look on that if you come to third question you see the answer is very easy again same page number 9 you see the bold lines are there they are asking what they are asking exactly political causes for the first war of independence here there is one heading political causes you need to write serial number 1 policy of expansion next if you come to page number 10 you see there are four causes including uh, you see by outright wars then by subsidiary alliances then by using doctrine of lapses and on the pretext of alleged misrule so these are the first causes next uh, second one you no need to write in brief just you need to write policy of expansion just you need to write abcd next you come to the second cause that is disrespect shown to bahadur shah page number 11 that subheading is enough so those two reasons is enough why you know they are asking only two reasons that is enough for our third question two political causes next children come to the fourth question again come to page number 22 what they are asking exactly name the four ways in which the british expanded their territorial power in india if you come to the answer let me tell the page number what page number is that again come to the page number 9 exactly page number 9 you see just i told you know policy of expansion serial number 1 so in that para answer is there there 1 2 3 4 5 sixth line you have to come sixth line the british tried i think all of you got it the british tried from then onwards the till end of the para that is alleged misrule alleged misrule yes that is the exact answer for the fourth question 
Children, all of you got it. Fourth answer also. Now I move to fifth one. What is the fifth one? What was the subsidiary alliance? You see, what was the subsidiary alliance? Come to the page number 10. Answer is here. That is subsidiary alliance. Children, you see exactly. There is one heading here by subsidiary alliance. So that is the answer. You can start that answer. Subsidiary alliance with the five lines. That is enough. What I am going to tell you? Some Indian states were brought under the British control without actually annexing them. Then, this was done by following subsidiary alliance introduced by Lord Wellesley. Under this system, the Indian rulers were agreed to the subsidiary alliance. So, this is enough. That is the answer for subsidiary alliance. Next, I move to sixth question. Let me have a look on that. What is this? Name two Indian states brought under the British control using the subsidiary alliance. What you are going to understand? Name two Indian states. Children, here you do one thing. So, no need of writing uh, through paras. Just uh, two words you need to mention. What are those? First state, Hyderabad. You need to write there it seems. Hyderabad in 1798. Then second uh, Indian state was Avad. That is in 1801. I am going to dictate the you know, spelling. That is, first one, Hyderabad. You write Hyderabad. H-Y-D-E-R-A-B-A-D. Hyderabad in 1798. That is first state. Second is that, Avad. A-W-A-D-H in 1801. So, that is second reason. So, this is the answer for sixth question. Next, I will move to seventh question, children. Come to page number 22 again. What is the seventh question? Explain the term doctrine of labs. Further, they are asking, name the two states annexed by the British using the doctrine of labs. Now, you need to come to the pages. That is page number 10. All of you come to page number 10. You see, here there is, a, there is one heading. Using the doctrine of labs. That para up to where? You see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ninth line. That is company's rule. Till there you need to mark. That is first part of the answer. Again, you need to continue that answer. Let me tell you. What is that? Again, you come to extreme right. Extreme right top para. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line. 5th line from where? States which became victims to the dark time were Satara, Jaitpur, Sambalpur, Udaipur and Nagpur. So this both little paras you need to combine and you need to write answer for the seventh. I think you got it all of you. Got it children? Ah yes. Then we will move to eighth question. What is that? What was the Nana Sahib's main grievance against the British? Children, what you are going to understand? Grievance means what? Complaint or request. Let us see. What was the Nana Sahib's main grievance? Come to the eighth answer. It is very easy to understand. Come to page number eleven. Page number 11, extreme left side, serial number 3 is there, no? That answer, that is, Nana Sahib was the adopted son. From then onwards, extreme right side, top para, 1, 2, 3, 4th line, Puna is there. Till Puna, you have to write for 8th question. I think all of you got 8th answer also. You see, follow, make it fast, come soon. Then, now I move to 9th question. What is that? Why did Rani Lakshmi Bai become a bitter enemy of the British? I think you are understanding very clearly why Rani Lakshmi Bai bitter enemy of the British. There should be a reason, no? That's why you come to the page number again 10 and 11. Why I am talking about 10 and 11? 10 you need to pick some phrases for this question and even 11th page number also there are certain phrases. That's why you have to combine and write. If you come to page number 10, you come to extreme left side, last para, last line. Last line. You see, when the ruler of Jansi died, I think all of you got it. When the ruler of Jansi died, from then onwards, extreme right side, one, two, three, fourth line, successor to the throne, successor to the throne, till the throne you have to write. That is one sentence. Then if you come to seven, uh, page number 11, don't confuse the things, page number 11, you come to extreme right side second para. Extreme right side second, not first para. Second para. That full second para you need to mark. That means Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jansi. 
from then onwards the way last word way so this is the answer both phrases you need to combine and write now you got answer for ninth question also children now we will move to the tenth question what is that let me have a look on that again come to page number 22 all of you you will be understanding what question they asking exactly which announcement of lord canning adversely affected the mughal dynasty in india you see that question which announcement of lord canning adversely adversely affected the mughal dynasty in india come to page number again that is again 11 page number if you come to page number 11 extreme left side from bottom second para you need to observe what is that second para you see in 1856 lord canning announced that from then onwards full para i am talking about against them last phrase you see against them this is the paragraph answer for 10th question easy answer all of you got it got it children yes done we will move to the question number 11 now what is that under what pretext was our the next to the company's dominions under what pretext let me have a look on that 11th one where answer is you if you come to page number 10 all of you come to page number 10 there is one heading on the pretext of alleged misrule very easy to find out 11th one if you come to page number 10 extreme right side third small para first one two three three lines that's it when it starts from in 1856, Lord Dalhousie annexed the to the company dominions on the pretext of alleged misrule. Got it children? 11th also got over. Now you come to question number 12. Mention any two consequences of the annexation of our. Mention any two consequences of the annexation of our. Now you come to page number. Again page number 11. There is answer in page number 11. What is that answer? You see, <coughs> beginning, very next, you know, uh, see, if you come to page number 11, the first paragraph it seems, that means after that one and a half line, there is one paragraph, they lost two and a half line. What is that? They had to pay higher land revenue and additional taxes on food, houses, ferries, and justice. That means for 12th also, you got answer. Then more than that, let me have a look on that. One thing I suppose to tell you, again you look at the question what they are asking. Mention any two consequences of annexation of Avad, no? So now I said, they had to pay higher land revenue and additional taxes on food, houses, ferries and justice. One and a half line, one more, you can add. Below paragraph only, there is one more phrase. What is that? The dissolution of the Nawab of Awad's army and administration through thousands of nobles, officials and soldiers out of jobs. These two also, till jobs you need to write here. These two also you need to combine, you have to write for 12th question. Children, you got 12th answer also now. Now we will move to the 13th one. Let me have a look on that. What is that? Mention any two consequences. Sorry, that you got, already you have taken, that is 12th one actually. Now I move to 13th one. What is that? State one of the consequences of the disbanding of the armies of the annexed states by the British. You see, 13th one. Come to page number 11. Very easy to understand. Just the answer what you marked, answer number 12, no? Below that only, one para is there. That is, the dissolution of the Nawab. From then onwards, British road. That full, full in the sense 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and half line. That is answer for 13th question. Now you got answer for 13th also. Now we will move to 14th one. What is that? Give the meaning of absentee sovereignty. Why was it resented by the Indians? Resented means opposed. Give the meaning of absentee sovereignty. Why was it resented by the Indians? Yes, come. What is the page number? 11 again. You see children, page number 11, extreme right side, last paragraph. There is one heading. Heading only, easy to find out. Absentee sovereignty of the British. From that, you know, now, 1, 2, 3, 4 lines from this page. Then extend half line from next page. That is, by the Indians. By the Indians. 
children very easy you got 14th answer also now i'll move to 15th one rapidly come to the 15th question what is that what were the apprehensions of indians about the introduction of the railways you see very easy because when britishers they wanted to modernize india our indians they had some apprehensions about the modernity that they are asking if you come to page number 12 you know you will be getting answer you see page number 12 extreme left side last paragraph direct heading what is the heading apprehensions about modern innovations what you write you see first 1 2 3 2 and half line that is people were suspicious from then onwards third line telegraphs there you start then you can skip two lines then you start last four and half line or five and half line what is that similarly orthodox indians noted that in the railway compartments from then onwards religion religion means end of the para so this is what answer for the 15th one children 15th also got over now i move to 16th one what is this mention any two social reforms advocated by the british which affected the religious traditions of the indian people come to 16th one the same page number where you mark now page number 12 you no know, you mark 15th answer yabo para yabo para i am not asking to mark whole para you see bottom 1 2 3 4 5 almost five lines i am telling you you see the result was that the reforms like i think all of you got it the results were from then onwards till masses masses means end of the para masses one word is a masses that is 16th answer children now you completed 16th also then come to 17th one what is that mention any three measures which point to the policy of social discrimination followed by the british in india you see again same page number that is 12th page number you come to 12th page number extreme right side policy of racial discrimination very easy to find first para only extreme right side top that full para you have to mark which starts from the british officers and ends with the masses very easy all of you marked even 17th also now i move to 18th one what is the 18th one give an example to show how the british exploited resources of india 18th one i am talking about children page number 13 you come all of you page number 13 in page number 13 if you come you see one economic cause setting is there in the heading first serial number first serial number not from the beginning you skip two lines from there that is third line india was forced to export i think all of you got it india was forced to export from then on to britain britain till britain you have to mark that full para you have to mark that is a 1 2 3 4 5 lines answer 18th also you got children now i move to the 19th one let us see where 19th one first let me have a look on that question what they are asking exactly why didn't the trade with england benefit the indian economy let me come to the page number what is that page number 19th page number 13 children you come to page number 13 you see page number 13 extreme left side last para first 1 2 3 4 5 6 lines very easy answer again i repeat page number 13 extreme left last para first six lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 lines it starts from india ends with the british products all of you got 19th also now let me come to the question number 20 what is that give any two grievances of the peasantry against the britishers even peasants also was already told you they were not satisfied with the british rule what were the grievances by the peasant side let me have a look on the answer part children again same page number that is 13th page number if you go to extreme right now serial number 4 economic decline of peasantry is there no that is the answer you start from the beginning the peasants were discontent from then onwards come to the page number 14 there you count the lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8th line the mughals till there you need to write children now you got question number 20 also answer you got it now i move to question number 21 what is that what did the british do to reduce the landed aristocracy to poverty what did the british do to reduce the landed aristocracy to poverty let us see if you come to same page number that is 14th page number 
Here you need to mark two phrases. Let me have a look on that. Come to page number 14, the last para. That is serial number 7. Poverty and Femines is there, no? There, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines you mark. That is British economic. From then onwards, fifth line extreme poverty. That one part of the answer. Then if you come to serial number 8, extreme right side. Decline of landed aristocracy is there, no? There, two and half line you write. That is the landed aristocracy which included. Then it starts with, ends with uh, their estates. Enough. Children, what you understood for 21st answer? Here one, you know, small para. Then you have to add one more sentence to the 21st answer. 21st also got over. Next I move to 22nd question. That is, in what way did the General Service Enlistment Act disregard the feelings of the Indian troops? I already told you when I was explaining the answer. You see, the General Service en Enlistment Act, it was damaged not for the Indian soldiers. Let us see. If you come to the answer, you will be understanding easily. Come to page number 15. It is very easy. Page number 15, children, beginning of the para only, that is General Service Enlistment Act, big heading is there. From then, you see, second line you come. Second line, the British Parliament passed the General Service Enlistment Act of 1856. From then onwards, full parallel. That is, among them. So this is the answer for 22nd one. I think all of you got it. There is no confusion. Isn't it, no children? Yes. Uh, then we will move to 23rd question. What is this 23rd question? Mention any two grievances harbored by the Indian soldiers which created an atmosphere favorable to the first war of independence. Children, same page number. Again, you have to come to 14th, sorry, 15th page number. Let us see what is that. If you come to page number 15, extreme left side, you might have observed serial number 2, 3, 4. 4 serial number you come now. What is that 4 serial number? You see, one heading is there now, bleak prospects of promotions. You don't write bleak prospects of promotions. You start with all higher positions in employment. I think you are getting my point. From then onwards, Subedar, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 line Subedar is there. There you can stop. Then you have to add one more sentence. If you come to extreme right side, there is one more sentence. Top, second line, they were required to serve in areas. From then onwards, allowances. That uh, three lines you can add. Children, now you got answer for 23rd also. You need to combine both the para paras. Now, next we will move to 24th question. Let me have a look on the 24th question. What is that exactly? What impact did the defeat of British in the first Afghan war have on the moral of the Indian soldiers? That is 24th. Children, same page number. That is 15th only. If you come to 15th page number, extreme right side, be below 7th serial number, Poor performance of British troops is there. Got it all of you? Poor performance of British troops. Yes, exactly. That is the answer. You need to start with that para, the British. And in middle, what I suppose to suggest you, you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th line, their area is there, no? Till their area you write. Then you skip again one and a half line. Come to last two and a half line. That is, you observe carefully, if you end the para, you see last para, what they mentioned, it further revealed the Indian soldiers. That sentence you have to add, up to Indian Army. Children, now you got it. These two small paras also you need to write for 24th question. 24th also successfully we completed. Now we have to look 25th question. What is that? What was the immediate cause of the first war of independence? Immediate cause they are asking. Children, I already explained when I was teaching you know this is very easy that is immediate cause you come to the page number that is 16 page number 16 you see the answer what is that immediate cause if you open the page number 16 you can observe one bold capital letters heading immediate cause so you don't write first para from that you skip to second second para second full para is the answer for that what is that tell me? In January 1857, there was a rumor from then onwards till last word. That is them. What them? When they were forced to use them. 
so that pair of full you need to write for 25th question children 25th also you got it now we will move to the question number 26 what was that let us see who was mangal pandey what did he do who was mangal pandey what did he do if you come to 26 children same page number again that is 16th page number you come extreme right side all of you got it all of you yes very first line only it starts with Mangal Pandey's name. Mangal Pandey is Sipoy. Led an attack on. So from then onwards, full para. Martyr. Have you observed Martyr? M E R T Y R. So this is the answer for question number 26. Next, I, I, I am going to 27th one. Why your children? Because there are more questions here. Still, we need to complete few more questions. That's why come easily. 27th question. What was the result of the First World War of Independence? First World War of Indian Independence on the East India Company. Children, 27th one. Observe properly. Come to page number 18 now. You skip one page. That is page number 18. If you come to page number 18, you see, beginning only end of the company's rope and ending is there. Isn't it now? There, you don't write end of the company's rule. You start with the most significant result. From then onwards, you count the lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line, crown. India directly by, India directly by the crown is then a crown. Till crown you have to write. That is 27th one. Children, you got 27th answer also. Then we will move to the 28th question. What is that 28? How was the army organized after the first war of independence? Children, you come to page number 19 now. It is very easy. If you come to page number 19, you see that extreme right side, below changes in the army, there are certain Roman letters they gave. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. 7 Roman letters are there. There, only first para you have to write. What is that? First Roman letter is there now. The strength of European troops in India now. So from then onwards, European troops. I am telling you clearly that full para you need to write for question number 28. Now you completed question number 28 also. Children, now we will move to question number 29. That is, who became the first Viceroy of India under the Act of 1858? You see that? Who became the first Viceroy of India under the Act of 1858? One more question and very easy to understand, simple question. Let me find out the answer. Where it is? Children come to page number 18. If you come to page number 18, you observe extreme left side, there are Roman letters below serial number 1, end of the company's rule now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. If you come to fifth one now, last line, you see, fifth one last sentence you write, that is Lord Canning was the first vice man under this act. Only one sentence answer for this. Lord Canning was the first wise guy under this act. Now you got an answer for 29th question also. Children, now we will move to 30th one. What is this 30th one? What impact did the uprising of 1857 have on the Mughal rule and Peshwa shape? Now come to page number. You see, let me tell. Page number 18 you come. They are asking end of Mughals and Peshwas, no? So that is the answer you are supposed to write. If you come to page number 18, you see in that page, extreme right side, below, serial number 3 and 4, I think you got it. Serial number 3 is the answer for that. That means you no need to write both serial number 3. You follow me. What is that? End of Mughal and Peshwa setting is there. You know, no, there you need to start with the death of Bahadur Shah second. From then onwards, Next, next para you can come. Next para if you come now, 1, 2, 3, 4 lines you have planned. Till end, came to an end is there now. So that is the answer for page number, sorry, answer number 30. Children, now we will see the question number 31. Only two questions left out. If we come to question number 31, what they are asking? What assurance did the Queen's proclamation of 1858 give to the Indian people regarding you see here they divided A and B. A what they are asking religious freedom and B appointment of public officers. Come to page number that is 
Let me have a look on that. What page number answer is there? 18 children. Page number 18, if you come extreme right side now, below Queen Victoria's picture, serial number second. Don't write that serial number second. Uh, see, bold heading, Queen Victoria. Below that two points we have to write. Roman letters, one and two. Children, again, I am telling you very clearly, for 31st question answer is, these two points, that is, follow a policy of non-intervention, that is one point. Below that, one more point is, that is, treat all subjects, from then onwards, appointments. Children, you got answer for even 31 also, only one question left out, that is, 32nd question. Let me have, read. Mention any two drawbacks of the first war of independence. Drawbacks. Children, this is the last question from our chapter. So, if we come to last question, answer, page number 20, you come children, all of you, page number 20, page number 20, extreme right side, you see, there are two points, that Roman letter serial number 2 is there now, 1 and 2, that two points enough, first point, what is that, the movement did not have, you got it, that point, and second point, the movement had no common goal, that two points enough, why two points enough, no, two drawbacks only they are asking, that's why you end with that, Two drafts. Children, this is the notes for first war of independence, 1857. You need to preserve the notes properly. When you come back, I am going to check, verify your notes, whether you have written it or not clearly. Then, your next chapter will be updated shortly. Please subscribe to Global International Online Classes. Thank you.